we should briefly discuss as much as I do love Ooh. Brock Bowers, but we did get a All report right. from Ian Rapport saying that Isaiah Pacheco fractured his fibula based on initial Ooh. tests. So more information coming to determine the severity and associated damage, but Pacheco is quote unquote set to miss real time. So yeah, that sucks. Number one, that does. number two, because we're fantasy football weirdos, we didn't discuss the implications and who starts getting more touches. Claude Brazilaire currently on IR, so that leaves, you know, yep. we're going to have uh, Samaja Pirine potentially stepping yep. up. We have Carson Steele, a.k.a. Carson Kareem, Steele. you know, Hunt going on. Paul, initial reaction and who you would think that fantasy manager should be spending some of that fab on now. Yeah, really unfortunate situation. Uh, and first of all, hoping for a quick recovery uh, for Isaiah Pacheco. Uh, dude runs so hard, such a great player. It's a real loss. And and nobody's going to walk into the productivity that he had. Really special player. Samaji P. Ryan would be my priority here because he is a pass catching back. And you notice they had really done, done an uptick on the receptions that Isaiah Pacheco had had. And I want to walk into I want to walk into those catches as well. Um, and so I, I would prioritize him veteran he is a reasonably good pass blocker and he can catch um steals you know obviously a big guy and i wouldn't be surprised if steel ends up going uh turning into the goal line back for this team at some point in terms of a a waiver situation pacheco is going to be expensive i mean this is i, I will not pacheco with pacheco out probably both guys will be expensive but i think p ryan's going to be priority here like 20 percent 25 percent because you're getting the start probable starting running back for the chiefs um, steel mixes in it, maybe 10% for me. I mean, it, am, am I, that's first blush. Maybe you guys feel like I'm being aggressive here, but I'm interested in the Chiefs starting running back on my fantasy team has found money. <laughs> I mean, it really is a, you know, rare potential situation we get here, Chris. And hey, let's face it, guys like Damian Williams in past years have gone on, taken a full-time role and made a lot of it. It's not like we've needed yep. elite talent to get, you know, elite production in Kansas City. So initial thoughts here on your end, Chris. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree with Charge that if you were going to be spending some fab out there, to taking some shots on some AJP Ryan if he happens to be still sitting out there on the waiver wire and being somewhat aggressive on it because there's not too many other free agents that I can see them going out and trying to get a handle on, like for at least for the short term. So Carson Steele, I think, like would be like the would be the backup. He was getting some work yesterday, like when it was like when we did have like something of an issue with like Pacheco. I think he came out like briefly during the game anyway. But like Carson Steele's still getting some work already did fumble throughout the game, so we have to wonder what his workload and snap rate is going to be moving forward. But if we already know that P. Ryan is going to be, or the, the assumption is that he'll not only be the pass catching back, early down grinder, but also the guy that's going to be out there in two minute, obvious passing situations like he has been in years past when he was with the Bengals and so on and so forth. Like I do see that as being like a reason for most fantasy managers to get aggressive from a fab standpoint for waivers this week. Chiefs got the Falcons and Chargers over these next two weeks. So if you think Andy Reid needed any more excuse to really throw the ball to his heart's desire, uh, I think he just got it. So prayers up for Isaiah Pacheco. Again, not every fracture is created equal. Hopefully this is on the lower end of bones breaking. He can get back out there before too long. Guys, last week one overreaction we really want to get to. Week two overreaction, excuse me.